Big Biz. I am so happy to be here. I love Lambtown. This is awesome. All right. So yeah. Here. All right. So, hey, guys. I, how are you all doing today? Good. Yeah. And so if, if anybody has any questions for Gene, feel free to put them in the Q&A. If you want to say hello, uh, you can just pop that into the chat as well. We're going to get started. Uh, we'll get started in just one minute. So if anybody wanted to tune in right at 2.20, we wouldn't want to cut them off. We'll make sure that they get the whole thing. Absolutely so. not. We don't want to cut anybody off. That's like it. So, so, okay. So let's just talk about uh, what we've got going on here, Gene. So uh, we've got your info down there in the bottom left-hand corner. We've got a phone number and yep. uh, a uh, website where people can find you. And then in the bottom right-hand corner, that looks like an overhead camera that you're going to be working with. Show us a little bit. Yeah, I want to show you some cool stuff up, up close and personal. Perfect. And then we've got the little logo up there in the top right. So that's perfect. So, okay. Yeah, all sorts Let of stuff me... here. We've learned a lot. <laughs> all right. And we are, let's go ahead and uh, get started here. I don't see any, any reason why we can't. So 220 on, there we go, 220 on the dot. So there we go. welcome, <laughs> welcome everybody uh, to uh, this vendor interview with uh, Gene from Bead Biz. And Hi, uh, Gene, Gene wel welcome. And uh, tell us a little bit uh, about your company. Where are you from? and uh, what it is that you you sell there. I am Jean. I am from Bead Biz. We're here in lovely Guilford, Connecticut, where it is cold out today, but the leaves are beautiful. And the, and the sky was gorgeous. We were out earlier today. So it is beautiful here today in Connecticut, a lovely autumnal day, as it were. Um, we are one of the few people, actually the only people in the world that do what we do. We purvey beads for all your knitting and crochet. And you can see some of those there on the rack behind me. Um, we have Czech beads, Czech glass beads from the Czech Republic. We have Japanese seed beads. All of them are curated, so they work beautifully with your fiber work, your knitting, your crochet, weaving, tatting, anything you do, spinning, you can do with beads. So I thought that maybe I would show you a little bit of, of things. I've got some beads here. Let me move it out of the way. There's, there's a beautiful example of things that we do. That is the bottom end of this gorgeous scarf that I'm currently using to keep me warm because it's chilly. Um, it's chilly here in my garage. Welcome to my garage. <laughs> uh, and, and we had somebody write into the chat, welcome from smoky California, because uh, across Northern California here, it is a little smoky and a little warm. So uh, it was kind of I think we're smoke. we thought it was fog, but hey, guess what it wasn't <laughs> a few days ago. It was you guys blowing over yeah. on us. Yeah. I hope everybody's staying safe out there. Those fires are nothing to mess with. So stay yeah, safe. We're happy people. to happy to do this virtually and I'll be indoors where we've got our nice air filters and everything else going on. So way to go. Why, why don't you tell us a little bit? We've got that overhead cam there. Uh, why don't you tell us uh, or show us a little something there? And then it also looks like maybe that would be a, a good uh, opportunity to to like maybe teach people something. So do you do much in the way of teaching as well? We do do a lot, a lot, a lot of teaching. We teach, let's say we teach this beautiful beaded cuff bracelet. I'll get that into view there. So we teach that. Find the sweet spot, sweet spot in the camera. Does the camera have a sweet spot? No, yeah, not today. Today it has a slightly blurry spot, but that's okay. We can work with that. We teach this beautiful uh, scarf that I'm wearing. That's got a beaded cast on and a beaded cast off. Um, I will be teaching, actually I'll be teaching four classes. I'm really excited. We've been bending at Rhinebeck forever. And this year is the first year that I'll be teaching at Rhinebeck. I'll be teaching four classes, intro with beads, a cast on, a bind off. And hey, did you ever want to start a craft business? What, what does that really entail? I want, to, I want to do what you guys do. We have a class for that. Um, and all of those will be taught at Rhinebeck. All the info for that is on the website, which is right down there below me. Um, that's beadbiz.org. Also, and, Rhinebeck and when, every year. One of the things when we you do say, is, huh? I'm sorry. When, when you say Rhinebeck, we're talking about New York Sheep and Wool for people New who, York State who may not know festival. that. So, so they can sign up for those classes at the New York Sheep and Wool website. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. You can go to New York. Okay. It's Sheep and Wool dot org or com. I know. I, I can't <laughs> remember. I yeah, Maryland, Maryland Sheep and Maryland, Wool has one of them. Maryland yeah. has one, and Rhinebeck has the other. So if you go to one yeah. and it's Maryland, go to the other one. That's it. <laughs> All um, right. 
So we have, we have lots and lots. The intro class will teach you everything you always wanted to know. You've come to the booth or you've seen people with beautiful beaded things and you say, oh, I could never do that. Oh, you so could, it's easy. So my intro class teaches you that, teaches you, this is all about the beads. How do you do it? What do you need to do it? How do you know what beads go on what fiber? Is there any fiber you can't do with beads? Spoiler alert, no. Um, how do I knit with them? How do I crochet with them? How do I spin with them? How do I tat with them? We can answer all your questions. Um, the next class we're doing is beads in a cast on that would teach you how to do this beautiful cast on right here, which is absolutely gorgeous. That is another one of the classes that will be taught at Rhinebeck. Um, we'll teach you beaded bind off class. I'll show you one beaded bind off. That's a really simple beaded bind off right there. We'll be teaching that and actually I'll be showing you five different bind offs, including this. Thank you. The disembodied hands have handed me something. Um, and we'll be teaching this beautiful bind off. Come on, come into the view. There you go. We'll be teaching this lovely Pico bind off. Um, and we'll also be teaching that you want to start a craft business class. We teach all year long, not just at Rhinebeck. I mentioned Rhinebeck because it's the first time we'll be teaching there. But if you sign up for the mailing list at beadbiz.org or nope, other way, beadbiz.org, um, we'd be happy to, to get you going with class there. Oh, thanks. Somebody just said New York Sheep and Wool is the dot com one. So it's sheepandwool.com. The other thing we do at Rhinebeck is we introduce every year two amazing shawls, one knitted and one crocheted. They are completely under wraps this year because it's not time for Rhinebeck yet. So I, but I can say this this, my friends, this is white birch fiber. I'm going to, I'm not stopping touching it because it is baby camel and silk. It is 750 yards of it. There are lots and lots of colorways. And these are the colorways, some of the colorways that we will, be, we will have for this beautiful new shawl. One will be knitted and one will be crochet. I think her close-up shots will focus better with a business card out of the field. We could try it, but there we go. No, she was right. Good, good thought. Thank oh, you. Whoever that was. Thank you so much. Card. It was auto-focusing on the card. You are awesome. I love fiber people. They're just so helpful and cool and wonderful. And that that is what I love about you. And all of these, of course, all of our, our shawls and come with beads. There's one example. Let me do it that way so you can see the inside of that. Can I fit both of you in the shot? Can you come be together, friendly like? Oh, you can. Look at that. So there's some different bead choices we have. We always let you choose your bead color and your yarn color. And not only will these have beads in in the in the uh, garment themselves, but also these beautiful long magatama beads at the end, like that. So, I will show you last. Where's last year? You had a second ago. You had a loose one. There you go. I will show you last year's. This is last year's knitted shawl. The thing is enormous. Um, here we go. It was the right way. It is enormous. I could hide behind this thing. This is by Anna Dalvi. Let me put it under the close-up so you can see it a little bit better. It is all beads all the time. And there's beads on the end of this. And trust me, this year's knitted shawl will be just as beautiful. We had a crochet shawl last year. This was last year's crochet shawl. It is also enormous and beautiful. And you can still get these kits. They'll be available even after Rhinebeck and the new ones come out. We will still have those and they will be beautiful and wonderful and amazing. Um, so that that is our Rhinebeck. That is teaching. Um, how's my time? Somebody give me a time. How am I doing, Roy? We're, we're good. You have about seven minutes left. So <gasps> is there? Yeah, you're, you're not even halfway through yet or, or just Look barely. Look at halfway, that. So. I will, yeah. I will show you some more beauties then. These are some other things that we have. We have these beautiful fingerless gloves. There'll be a brand new one, a brand new um, with, a, with a little bit of a thumb. We're gonna, we have a new series coming out called Almost Fingerless Mitts. And all of them will, will be beaded and all of them will have thumbs. And that will be kind of, kind of cool with different patterns. Yeah. There's a knit. I, a I, have a, I have a question there. When you have those beads, like in, in the glove like that, do you put the beads like in the palm as well? Are they no, all the way around? palms are not. Okay, so, so you don't really feel them on the inside. They're just on the back side. No, you can't even feel them on, even on the inside here, you don't feel them. Okay, okay. good to know. So 
there's different ways to put beads on. Um, in some methods, you feel them and see them on both sides like this. Other methods, you do not see and feel them on both sides. Hmm? And I'm assuming those two methods are things that people can learn by taking your workshops. Oh yeah, I can show you on this, sure. Um, I, <laughs> yep, this is, that's in my intro class. I can, I can give you a brief, a brief intro to the intro. Let me bring this up a little closer there. So all of these were added by pre-stringing the beads. These were added as we went along. If I flip this over, like magic, one of those rows disappear. So the, that method would be used if you only want them on the outside, you don't want them hitting your hand, making your hand cold with glass in the winter time. And this method you can see from both sides if you say you have a shawl and when you flip your shawl over, you don't wanna lose your beads. Well, that's okay. You can flip your shawl over and not lose your beads because you can see them from both sides. That's, that's covered in the intro class. So that's one of the many things. We also show you in the intro class, lots of different ways to add beads. Here's one way. It's a very cool tool called a flegal beater. That is one way to add beads. Um, I'm sorry, it's it's called a what? It is called a flegal beater. F-L-E-E-G-L-E -E -E beater. It's not my fault. <laughs> Our friend Susan made this tool. It used to be everybody <laughs> used a crochet hook. And the crochet hook, I'll show you a big one, is a great tool for crochet because it has this cool hook on the end to catch fiber. It's not really designed for beads. This, on the other hand, this beauty just has a little divot on the end. It is perfect. Nope, I'm looking at it. It is perfect for beads. Um, and I can explain to you why the, why different tools do different things, how they do different things. We also offer Zoom, private Zoom viewings. If you want to come in and you say, I had bought this yarn, this fabulous yarn that I got at Lambtown, and it needs beads. You can have a private viewing with us. We're happy to set that up. We will webcam you through the entire area. We will, let me step out of the way for a second. We'll show you all the beautiful beads. We'll hold up yarn as close, close as color we can get. Trust me, I like you have a yarn stash. I can probably find a color pretty close to what you have. And uh, we can hold it up and show you all the beads. So uh, we had a question come in. Uh, yeah. They want to know if uh, you can hold up the shawl that is draped on the mannequin to your left. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. This is this is a specialty knitted shawl from last year in a different colorway. This is Peace Love and Knitting. It is by Anna Dalvi. I will just keep pulling up on this so you can see it's a giant full circle. There are over 1,500 yards. There are over 2,000 beads in this. Last year's theme, huh? Over 3,000 beads. Last year's theme was Woodstock. It was the 50th anniversary of Woodstock. And we told our knit and crochet designers, think Woodstock, go nuts. And they did. Look at that. This also has the beautiful Pico beaded edging, as well as those beads. Let's see if I can get a nice shot of that. All those beads throughout there. So many beads. All right. And while you're showing that to us, uh, I've got another question here. How much, as far as cost, what does adding beads to a project, add into the cost of the pro project from like, whether it it's a percentage. How many beads, it depends on how right. many beads you add to a project. By and large, to get a thousand beads, and to give you an idea, there are over 3,000 beads in the shawl I just showed you. Um, about 2,000 beads in this little scarf wrap thing that I'm wearing. And our bead, a thousand beads come in a hank. That's how we sell them. There's a hank of beads. So there's a thousand beads, 1,080 beads, if you want to be technical in that. Um, they run averaging at $10. So you want to add a thousand beads? About $10. If you want to add, if you want to add a thousand truly amazing fancy beads, these very fancy beads with a beautiful AB finish, that's $18 for a thousand beads. That's beautiful, fancy shiny AB finish beads, Five to 20. but usually you only use a hundred beads. So it's only going to cost you five to $20 for the garment. So this. So com compared to the, the yarn, the cost of the yarn, if you're buying really nice, really nice yarn, yarn the beads are negligible, um, but you want to get quality beads. And that's what we do. Our beads are all curated for knit and crochet. If you go to the Michaels or the Joann's, they're going to get you beads from China or India, or Pakistan. The problem with those beads is the holes aren't good sizes. The color rubs off. 
Sometimes if you so much as, as, as just, you know, do that and knock it against something hard, the beads will break. Um, my beads, I will take a glove like this. I will put it inside a pillowcase. This is a superwash merino. And I will throw it in the washing machine. If I'm being nice, I'll remember to turn it inside out first. But I've washed these beads. I've washed this very glove. And it's, it's no problem at all. All my kids have beaded gloves. And I have four boys. And you imagine what they do to gloves out in the winter in the snow. It's not pretty when they come back in. Turn them inside out, throw them in a pillowcase. I put them in gentle on the wa in the washing machine. And of course, as we all know, lay flat to dry. The beads, not the children. The children just, they just start on their own magically. I don't know how they do it. Yeah, they, they won't lay flat to dry either. So <laughs> no, they, they won't lay flat. Yeah, the boy's exactly. smiling because he now has one of those and those, they, they don't, they don't yeah, stay clean right. and they don't lay flat. No, they don't. <laughs> so uh, one more question here and, and then we'll wrap up with some contact info. Uh, you had mentioned uh, being available, uh, was it via Zoom or uh, Skype for people to call I can in? do Zoom, Skype, okay. FaceTime, anything you want. And, and this person said, how about email as well? Is that a good way to go back and forth with you? Email. Absolutely, email is fine. You can go on my website. The first thing that'll pop up is a, is a link to sign into our email list. Um, if you get on our email list, you will get a coupon for deals and specials. You'll get any time we're gonna do a virtual show. You'll be the first to, to uh, get a glimpse of the new stuff we're putting out. So the, all the classes. And, and, then, and then to purchase, it's beadbiz.org. Yep. And hit shop now. Uh, and okay. you'll hit the shop now button, which is in the upper right-hand side of my webpage. That's an important thing to note. <laughs> shop now is a fun button. Yeah, it is. Shop now it gets is. you all the beads, all the kits. If you scroll down on the front of the webpage, you'll see some of the kits highlighted. They're just a few. That is by no means the totality of kits we have. And if, if you hit on a kit, you say, oh, I, I really love that peace, love, and knitting troll you held up before. I've got at least 14 different colorways in that that you can wow. choose from. And if none of those colorways float your boat, shoot me an email. We'll work with you. Perfect. We can That's change excellent. the bead color, switch around the yarn colors for you. We're happy to help you. All right. You're happy. We're happy. We hate people to walk away. We, people don't walk away from my booth unhappy. My customer service, I will brag on myself. My customer service is impeccable. <laughs> Go ahead. Try me. <laughs> oh, I like it. That's a, that's a fun challenge. I like that. Yeah. Yes. There are gift cards available on the website in the drop down box. Actually, I think it might be right on that top bar on the top page of the webpage. You can press and get a gift card. Okay. And that's got it. Nothing else in the chats or in the Q and A for you. So thank you, Jean, for joining us. I do appreciate it. Be well, thank you, Roy. This is fabulous. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for joining us for Lambtown Festival. So awesome. hope you have a great rest of your weekend. And you too. Uh, I'll go ahead. Yeah, I'll go ahead and cancel the spotlight here. All right. Bye, and peoples.